Okay, so, hi guys, this is Lollipop, and welcome back uh, to a new series that I am starting my channel, um, which is also known as the 100 Baby Challenge. Um, so, yeah, I have created my founder um, of this, you know, uh, this challenge, you know, she's going to be the one that we play with, um, and all that good stuff, and her name is Skylar Kendrick, um, and yeah, she's a young adult and all of that good stuff. And uh, this is her here. Um, I hope you like her. She's wearing like this cardigan with some military boots and um, an outfit with like some shorts and a gradient top. Um, and then I zoom in on her face here. And then she has these beautiful, beautiful um, royal blue eyes. And uh, yeah, you may recognize her or you may not. Um, she's actually my uh, Greek goddess that I created on this channel, but I ended up um, obviously editing her to modernify her and make her unique for this series. So um, yeah, I changed her up a bit and obviously gave her all these different things. Um, you may also see that this bit here is all weird and looks like it's a crumpled piece of metal and also her eyelashes are kind of um her eyelashes are kind of a uh, you know like smudgy um they're not actually like that it's just where it's glitched out in um in creator sim but when i move into any other the outfits it doesn't happen so don't worry about that um but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and show you all of her outfits here um and hopefully i'm smart enough to cut out the bits in the okay middle. so this is her formal wear and um, um, it's this, it. you know, open back dress and everything, um, and it's it's really pretty. And then I just gave her, you know, uh, curls that fall to the side, um, really show off the definition in her face, and also some um, some heels which are absolutely adorable. Um, and yeah, you know, same same makeup and all of that good stuff. Uh, and then we move on. Okay, to Okay, so pajamas. here is her pajamas here or a sleep well. Um, obviously she's going to be in it quite a lot, if you know what I'm saying, you know. Um, so I decided to give her, a, you know, a really pretty lingerie. Um, I gave her her normal hair. But, um, yeah, I think it just looks really, really pretty um, on her. So, let's move on to So the here's one. her athletic, and it's nothing too special. Uh, it's not like she's in it, you know, that much. So I have her here, um, and it's just a lime kind of, I don't know, a green... I don't know, like it's like a, kind of like a saturated green, um, and you know that works for all of it. And obviously, um, her hair's in this ponytail, as you can see here, which is adorable. And her eyelashes, are, you know, fine now. Um, and moving on to her swimwear, and here it, she has the same hair and just um, a top and a bottom, which were from the Sims Three store. Uh, I use them a hell of a lot, and if you don't have them, you should get them already. I uh, suppose we should move on to the next okay. one. Okay, so here's our outerwear, and I forgot to change her hair in this, so why not you come with me, right? That made so much English sense. What? <laughs> um, okay, we need to put her other hair back on her, so it's in this one. Um, and yeah, this was, you know, her original hair, so... We'll go ahead and put her other hair on her here. If I could find it, that'd be great. Um, there it is. And there we go. And there is her um, outer well. Really, really cute. So, uh, let's move on to her traits. Um, so, I've given her traits that all will uh, orient around, um, you know, you, you know, revolve around uh, what she's going to be doing and it will help us in this challenge um, so she is an angler uh, family oriented flirty a green thumb and a natural cook because uh, you know like we don't want the house burning down or anything with all of our kids in it and I also made her uh, the lifetime wish of the perfect garden so she wants to plant and grow eight different species of perfect plants um, then obviously we come to her favourites and this is a uh, fruit parfait, she likes pop music and her favourite colour is lilac and her voice sounds like this, uh, so it's very, very you know, feminine and woman-like uh, and she is also a Virgo. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into the game and I will explain to you what this whole 
you know, business is about. So I'll see you guys in a okay, second. Okay, so hi guys, I am back and I have um, finished the house and all of that good stuff. Um, let me put the rules up. Uh, yeah, as you can see, um, I probably could actually put a roof on this if I'm honest. So turn that off and we'll put on... Um, let me see here. Um, that one, that one will do. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I have finished the house. Um, and this is what I have come up with. Let me move this over. There we go. Uh, no. There. Okay. Um, yeah, so I decided that I didn't really want to spend too much money on the house, but I didn't want to make it shabby. Uh, so, you know, I think we done well for the amount of money that we had, which was, I think, about 12,000 after I deleted the house. That was already here. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you around at what I have. So, uh, let me go into play. Um, so, here we have the, um, you know, like the porch where you walk in and all of that fun stuff. And then here we have the kitchen slash dining slash what was to be the living room when I run out of money and couldn't finish it. So we have obviously our necessities, uh, you know, like a fridge, um, a stove, sink, a counter. And I also bought, you know, a table and a chair for um, Skylar to sit at uh, while she's eating. Uh, I've, you know, done the nursery. Um, I've got two cots prepared for when we have the kids or at least, the, you know, at the moment. Um, I bought a potty so we can, you know, potty train them and a little uh, toy box so they can go play in it when we are busy sorting out needs out and all that stuff. Um, then obviously we have the bathroom which just has the major supplies in it which is a toilet and a shower. And then we have Skylar's bedroom here uh, which just has, you know, a bed in it. So that was all we could afford but, um, you know, I don't think we've done that bad for it. Uh, I also have gotten her um, little beehives out here um, you know bee boxes and then that way we can use these um, to get money and sell the honey but is it just me who can see an eye there like that's an eyeball is it just me who sees that that like, you can see it when we zoom out more look that's an eyeball okay anyways um so let's get on with it um I'll show you around town just for the second um, here is Emerilda City, uh, this is also where my current household was, but um, I just love, 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 love this town, um, and yeah, I just think it's awesome, you know, you got the town, towny area over here, not that we'll ever be out here other than to meet men and do opportunities, but hey ho, and then obviously we have our um, sort of residential area over here, which, you know, has all of this fun stuff, so, um, Firstly, I suppose we should start out by meeting men. Uh, I suppose that is a good idea. Um, and to do that, uh, we should head off to the library, because there may be men there, and we'll set ourselves up with an online dating profile so we can meet men um, through there. I'm pretty sure we're allowed to do it through there. Um, and we also need to start getting some... Um, ingredients so we can use them but uh not sure whether they're allowed out of the house to buy them but um oh well you know for the minute we'll just stick with what we know um so i'm just gonna bring up the uh challenge rules let me just move um the challenge rules on my phone here so i know what uh you know i'm allowed to do and what i'm not There we go. Okay. So we are here and nobody is here at the minute. So we're going to go ahead and um, um, online dating, create a profile. So we're going to go do that now. Um, and I have the challenge up here. Uh, so our friendly mascot is here and they also like us. Is it a boy? Um, Okay, so, yeah, we don't really want to lie. There is no need. Um, is that a girl? Eh, that's a girl, I think. 
Yes, it is. Okie dokies. So, since we have it, we can sell it. Because it's worth a bit of money. And, you know, why the hell not? Um, I'm not sure whether the sims in the town have generated yet. But we'll go check by um, browsing the... Uh, browsing... Uh, the, you know, internet and all of that fun stuff. Um, okay, just reading up on those rules here, making sure that I'm allowed to do what I want. Uh, okay, so obviously nobody has been generated yet. Uh, we're going to have to wait for that stuff to happen. So we'll, um, we'll check back maybe later or something uh, once we are, you know, done. So... I suppose we're not allowed out anymore. Uh, you know, we're not allowed here because there is no men. So I suppose we have to go home now. Uh, I'm not even sure we're allowed to go out and buy uh, ingredients to plant. I'm not sure if that's a thing or not. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't even know. Okay. I don't know. Are we allowed to go to the grocery store to go get food? Uh, to go get, you know, like, ingredients to plant? Or at least one ingredient? I don't even know. Anyways, uh, my iPad's going off. Um, come over here and ask this person to hang out. Uh, we're still on the home lot, I suppose, so it works. Um, and we'll also sell that as well. <laughs> Sell everything that we can. Okay, it is a girl. But, oh well. We can make friends while she is here. Oh, okay, maybe not. She wants to go. Why don't we just read up... Um, what are you doing? Get off your phone. Uh, read up on the... What's going on in the outside world. Since we'll never be able to go out there... Other than to meet men and do opportunities. So, for the minute, we'll just busy ourselves. Um, okay, cool. Um, mm -mm -mm. I don't know when they start generating. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, just, you know, leave her in the house for the minute. I'll wait for her needs to go down and then I'll just bring, uh, I'll go and, you know, sort them out when they go down. And I will uh, be back in the morning and hopefully some sims will have generated by then and then we'll continue from there. So see you guys in okay, a second. Okay, so, hi guys. Um, it is now morning uh, and I probably sound like I'm really far away to you. So I'll bring you to me. Isn't that nice? I know. Um... Hold on, my microphone. I should have probably got this sorted out, but... Oh, well. Um, okay. So, uh, Skylar is up and getting herself ready for the day. She's going to go use the toilet and have a shower. Uh, she doesn't really need it, but it would be nice to have the squeaky clean moodlet because it would add something um, to her mood, you know. And that's always grateful. Uh, then she's going to go have some cereal. And then we're going to go tend to the bees. Um, so we're going to smoke the box, clean the box, smoke the box, feed the bees, smoke the box, harvest bunny. Harvest the honey, not the money. Um, I actually got some yesterday, um, and I done that. So I'm going to go ahead and sell those, and that is worth 30, and that is worth 76. Um, so obviously this is going to be part of our profit, uh, for the moment until we get, um, teenagers... Uh, in our house to get a part-time job uh but uh yeah so this is going to be a fun stuff so skylar is obviously a natural cook which also helps and um, and then she can clean that up when she gets in uh so let's head outside to sort these bees out Go. People are just getting jobs and all of that fun stuff. 
make sure we smoke that box a lot. The more smoke, the happier the bees, so <laughs> the less likely we are of getting stung. And then harvest the honey. Okay. So smoke the box, feed the bees, smoke the box, harvest the honey. There we go. See, this is like we're on a roll here. And fast forward. Go. And I don't understand why I keep pausing. Or like, you know, slowing it down. Okay, yeah. Grab the honey. And there we go. Nice. So now we can head back inside. Um, and just make the bed. And then clean up that. And then I can go ahead and sell this honey. So it's worth 30 um, what, you know, quality is it? Um, it's nice quality, which is good. Uh, so we'll go ahead and sell that. And also sell the beeswax worth 38. Um, Samoans. Uh, so go sort that out here. Keep your, um, house nice and clean. There's no excuse for an untidy house. Um, and now I suppose we can head out to the um, library again to see if anybody's signed up on the online dating profile, or on online dating and whether they sent us any messages. And then we will also, oh, there's somebody here. Um, and then we will also, uh, you know, see if we can find anybody. So, online dating, uh, check messages. And also browse profiles if anybody's on here um okay so let's see if we have any luck okay any messages theodore maybe you and i could be one of those online dating success stories skylar um i don't think he's that cute but the point is is we have to take what we get given right now and Theodore is been given to us and you know um we have to we have to have a hundred babies with all different men so I'm gonna have to make a note of the people we have a thing with <laughs> um okay so here is all the people on the online dating uh, right now so obviously we've had Theodore he's an adult but I didn't even care you know we need that hunk um so now we'll go ahead and send Pablo, um, a message here, um, and we'll just do that with everybody, because we have to give ourselves up, you know, we don't really get a choice to be judgy right now, because we have to, you know, have, um, babies with everybody, whether they're ugly or not, so, um, I don't know why she just, you know, shut that down. Oh, damn it, I told her to mm, delete the profile. Save the profile again. Okay, now. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, create profile. Okay, do this again. Online dating. Browse. 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 Okay, so Pablo... Okay, how about we start from the beginning? Again, just to make sure that we've got everyone. So we'll start with Pablo. Okay, Pablo Rehetz or Ritz. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Um, Theodore, again, just to make sure that we got him. Uh... Heathwood, Heathcliff, no Heathcliff, uh, we'll send him a message, doesn't matter if he's old, he can produce babies, which is all that matters, um, browse some more profiles, Marley, send him a message, and then Holden, we'll also send him a message too, okay, so, did I hear a man here, no, that's a boy, okay, we can't, we can't go for little boys, that's weird, uh, oh, I think there's a... 
Brett. He's here. Is that his family? You know what? We don't. We can't even care. We have to be a home wrecker. So go and friendly introduce yourself. We may have our first victim, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. Already. We could have a bait or we could be pregnant by the first day. If he would come out. Can we call him over? Yoohoo, over here. Okay, and when he comes out, just wait for it. Walk away, make him think that we're not there. Rah, there we pounce. Go. Go, 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 go. Don't let him escape back into the toilet again. Okay, so friendly, introduce yourself. Um, and then ask him about his career. His alma mater. He's, um... We'll coo over children. We'll get to know him. Gossip. Give him a high five. Chuck a bra. Let's do it. Um, not that we care, you know, what's going on between them. And... Uh, lots of people have moved into the town as well, which is nice. Um, okay, so give him a compliment. Chat to him. If these about music, if these about your new house, get to know him some more, give him a high five, play rock, paper, scissors, and then ask his sign and ask if he's single. Uh, jump in straight for it, you know? Um, it's nearly seven, and we're going to try and get this guy. I mean, at least if we have him in our, um, in our, you know, lookbook to go back to, you know, he's there, so we can call him and invite him out, or invite him over um, to, you know, get busy with us. Um, yeah, we won. Scissors. Scissors cut paper. Rock on rock. Go again. No? I suppose you won. Okay, so now we're friends. And our signs are also compatible, which is nice. I'm pretty sure he has a wife, but we don't even care. You know? No time for toilets. Okay, Sabrina. Um... So, let's go ahead and admire him and ask him about his day. Express our fondness for him. Give him a friendly hug. Um, give him another high five. And then flirt with him and see if he accepts it. If he does, then it's all well and good. Give him some flowers first. And then we'll see. He accepts them. Okay, it's a good start. And then flat with him and he's not sure okay how about we just uh get to know him a bit more uh gossip um give him a gift our newspaper <laughs> um <laughs> wow he's like oh thanks uh share a secret with him what a lovely gift. Thank you so very much. Yes, our old newspaper is a lovely gift, I know. Make a silly face and then show him a funny video. And then quickly use the toilet, but I don't want him going before you come back. So hurry. And then I'll line up a new interaction when you get back. You come back here. Yeah. Don't you leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't. Yeah, got him. Okay, come up, quick, quick, quick. Go. And um, and now give compliment his personality. Oh, he's accepting it. Um wait for it. Flirtatious joke. Um <laughs> Oh, he's accepting it. This is so adorable. Um, and then give him a hug. He's ugly, but I don't even care. As long as he's accepting it. We're going to have a range of babies, which is what I, you know, what I wanted to do. This is this is basically why I wanted to do this with the um, 100 Baby Challenge. Because you can have so many different kids with so many different people. And they'll look all different, you know. So, um, flirt with him again. And then, uh, give him some flowers. And then give him a heat of the moment kiss and he should accept it. He's cheating on his wife right now, but, you know. 
Oh, we didn't like that. Damn it. Um, oh no, apologize. He's neurotic. Okay, now... Um, cry on your shoulder. <laughs> and then... Um, and then I suppose we should just go home now. Uh, in fact, we'll invite him over. Invite over. Hopefully he accepts it. And of course he does. Uh, so we'll make him... Oh, we'll just make some food. And, uh, oh, he has a car. Nice. Um, and then, you know, we'll see if we can get it in with him tonight. If not, then that's okay. But I was hoping we could get ourselves pregnant by, um, you know, by today. So. Um, then we'll go ahead and go straight up to him and flirt with him. And see if he accepts it again. <laughs> Um, oh, he's accepting it again. Okay, nice. Um, then flirt with him. And give him a hug. Compliment his appearance. And then ask him if he wants to stay over. There we go. Going nicely now. Um, then we'll hold hands. And of course he accepted. Um, then we'll ask him to break up with Sabrina. And he says yes. We're going to have a lot of, you know, girl haters. Um, you know, you're right. Things between uh, me and Sabrina are over. Sabrina may be pretty upset with you, though. Um, so then we'll go ahead and give him another hug. Um... And then a flirtatious joke. I want to get this in before he leaves. Or before he, you know, feels the need to do something. Give another hug. Compliment appearance and personality. There we go. Come on. Come on. And we'll get him so that he is um, nice to us. There we go. And then we'll give him a first kiss. There we go. And then go ahead and make out with him. And then try for a baby. Oh, no, he doesn't want to make out. Romantic. Embrace. Come on, we've got to get this. This will be a world record if we get this in the day. Take a romantic photo together. I want to do that with every guy that we meet, though. I want to take a photo with him. <laughs> Just to make sure that we, you know, remember each of them. Uh, come on, before you... Before you run out of energy. Dip kiss. And then... Hold hands. Keep the moment kiss again. Dip kiss. Come on, we're gonna get there. Okay, now will he accept our try for baby option? Please, please accept it. No, okay, fine, we'll leave it for the minute. So we're gonna go ahead and have some cereal and then head to bed. It's like nearly six o'clock, but you know, who cares? Um, just gonna grab some food, uh, clean that up and then head to bed. So I'm gonna end this episode off here, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Um, yeah, look, she's booing him. She's like, damn it, you won't, you won't have sex with me. Um, so we'll, we'll get him, we'll get Rahet, or whatever the hell his name is, in the next episode, and we will, you know, be impregnated with his, uh, sperm, which is kind of weird to say, but, <laughs> oh well, you know, that's the way it's working. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna end this episode off here, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one, uh, like I just did. <laughs> um, I love you all. Bye, guys.